What's up guys, we got this D6T pusher arm in the shop. Cut this bushing off and replace it. We have a factory cat replacement there. And uh, we also have a couple other things we're doing for this machine, but uh, this will be the main project uh, for this video here. So we're just getting it ground down, ready to take it off. No square point to really get a consistent measurement with. So what we're gonna do is put this piece of stock here get it nice and parallel to the edge as a spacer and then we'll tack this other piece on here so we know our measurement and what the spacing needs to be when we go to put the new one on so that's what we're going to do first Flip it over to the bottom side. No sense of working upside down if we don't have to. Not yet. Set up so far. Welded these bars on, and that gives me my top height to my original, like I told y'all before. Mash it around with the other side. Got the new piece right here. Just grinding some of this paint off, and we'll get it fitted. Got it set up in here. Filling in the gap. <coughs> <coughs> and we're just using a, uh, <coughs> it's not pulled up, it's already had it all sides tacked down and welded. We're using Lincoln S6 035 wire. You know, it's equivalent to like about a 7018, it's 70,000 PSI pound per square inch, so. Pretty good. We'll get this filled in, finish up filling both the sides and we'll flip it up flip that side and uh, fill that all in. First side. Move along to the back and then we'll do the two sides. Filling in this back side now. Then I'll do the two sides.
if it's one side filled in with the bottom side here. We're gonna grind it down a little bit, get all this extra bullshit off and uh, cap it up. Back's all set. Front's all set. We'll flip it up on the other side, fill in this bottom, and uh, this will be good to go. I must say, without this Presto lift, man, I couldn't do this job. It lifts like 3,500 pounds, electric hydraulic. And it just makes this so easy. Let's get this ground down. <laughs> 